All right, we're back. We are playing next uh, Edgewood National by Eddie Emo. Somewhat surprisingly, uh, this is the only course in the game with that name. All right, so we're playing the white tees, pin three. Um, I set the, the wins to medium. Alright, so it looks like we're kind of in the Pacific Northwest. I mean, this course has a, a sense of place for sure. Uh, we got some very large and amoeba-like bunkers here. Very green textures. Foggy and overcast. Very moody. Let's see how it plays. I like, you know, I think the the look is promising here. Plenty of room off the first tee. Got a left to right stance. Don't know about the fence around the rock outcropping. What's what's that for? I think we ended up short of the green there. Okay, so it kind of rolls off on the front. I think the tear the tear looks a little abrupt there. I think maybe making it feel like it's kind of flowing off that hillside a little more naturally, I think would be good. All right, so now this hole is kind of heading back down the hill. We got a bunker cutting in from the right. Okay, and then we have like a semi-blind second shot. Shallow green. Looks like the pin might be on a bit of a shelf there. turned out pretty well okay I mean this hole is again it looks nice uh, fairly straightforward in terms of what the play is it's just you know hit the fairway and then hit the green um, So this one definitely feels a little a little easier so far than than the last couple I played. Plenty of room off the tee. It's 
so I think we just play for a driver here and then pitch it on. Yeah, so this hole kind of felt a little, yeah, a little straightforward. I, it, I didn't feel like I really had to think too much on that. Just kind of bombs away with the driver down the right. And then flop it on. So I think the thing to get right with a CC difficulty course, right, it... it You know, you don't want to make the shots that you're asking players to hit to be too demanding. But you still want to reward people who think, you know, and, and kind of, you know, plan their shots instead of mindlessly just bashing them, you know, bashing it down the fairway. So I think you can still ask those questions on a course designed for CC. You just got to give a little more margin for error. And just don't be a jerk with your greens. And so far what I'm feeling here is I, I don't feel like I'm having to think very much. Um, you know, it's not, it's, the difficulty level definitely feels appropriate. It's, the holes have been pretty to look at. You have the nice rock formations, but I don't think I'm really having to think a whole lot. It's just kind of hit the fairway, hit the green. Okay, so we have a bit of a two-tier job here. So you can use that slope to feed balls, feed balls to the lower right. Okay, so I feel like this is like what a, a shot that asked an interesting question. Okay, we got a long par three, all carry down the hill. I don't know about that pine tree there. And also, yeah, okay. I'm not going to mention the fencing every time. The flower bed over the green kind of feels new. Yeah, I don't know if I like the green contours here. You got like a, a plateau on the right. And then the front left there just kind of is a false front that, that just goes to... is just going to deposit your ball in the rough. But 
yeah, all the pink there kind of feels out of place in the kind of the landscape I've seen over the first four holes. I kind of hold, if I'm being honest, that part three kind of felt like a set piece where you wanted me to see the big rock formation and the plants, and then you just put a green there that forced me to play along it. Okay, so now we're, we've got this rock cut kind of cutting through. I'm curious what the textures look like right around here. It looks like you've got fairway cut, or like the rocks are going over the fairway texture, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's see. So we can kind of hit a driver. We might run out of room there if we go right, if we take it right over these trees. Don't really have a lot of room to go left, and I'm needlessly adding distance to the hole. So, yeah, I think... You know, I, I see that you're trying to, unless, I guess, is that just, this is just the other hole coming the other direction? Okay, so it's not like that fairway is doing nothing. But yeah, this seems a pretty straightforward, you know, fairway wood out to the corner. Mid to long iron into the green. Okay, so we kind of got like a two-tiered, well, it's not two-tiered, there's a hump in the middle, kidney-shaped green. I Again, this feels a little unnatural or forced, like why, why, why is the green narrowed up so much there? Why not just cut some of that fairway as, as green? Um. Uh, doesn't it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense to me All right, now we've got quite a bit of bunkering here. Pinches down quite a lot. But it's a long par four, so I don't think I really want to go back to a three wood. So the green is slightly elevated. I think a decent decent sight line there. So we got a false front and then kind of that ridge that's coming in from the right and then the back of the green kind of slopes left to right with a couple of tiers in it. I don't know that that bat the back of the green there looks a little artificial. Um, 
I think something that slopes a little more subtly would probably be better. Okay, back to our uh, wide fairways, kind of a semi-blind tee shot here. I got, this is a par four. Um, hmm. I guess it's like a driver goes too far, but I got that big patch of fairway long. I'm very curious to see what happens if I go for that. Yeah, it's a fall off, I figured. But still, I mean, that's this is a pretty straightforward up and down. Um, but yeah, this kind of feels like a, you know, it kind of feels like an auto go for it. It doesn't look like you really have to think too much about what line you want to take off the tee. I feel like every decision I've made off the tees in the, on this course has just been whether I want to, whether or not I want to hit driver. And like the line I've had to take has always been pretty obvious. I haven't really had to think about that. Even though you have plenty of fairway width, you know, which is good. But I think you kind of want to try and make use of that. If you have width, make the player think about what line they want to take. Okay, so we're back, coming back the way we came. I'm tempted to just bash it into the left fairway here. Because that's a more direct line. It looks like I got more fairway to work with, so. I don't know if that's what you were playing, thinking, but kind of seems like an obvious play to me. I guess I got to deal with these trees now. So, I guess you got me. <laughs> but I think we could probably get over them. Oh yeah, no problem. So I think some of these red slopes around the edges, I would, you know, do so do some very slight raises, like a few inches around the edges of them, just to make them blend a little more seamlessly into the green. Um, like a a green that's like all green grid, and then just this little this little band of red around the edges. I don't really, it doesn't look very good to me looks a little unnatural I hit that way too hard no oh, maybe not
Okay, so now we got a short par three. I feel like those bunkers are kind of hidden. I know that's something Ben talks a lot about, but you might have used, made a couple of tee boxes and lowered the the front ones down a bit, just so they aren't blocking so much, obscuring so much of the green. I'm guessing from the black tees, you can probably see it better. So this feel is a little straightforward, maybe. I mean, you've got a backstop that you're just hitting a wedge to, fairly deep green. I guess if you kind of hit it in, hit a really bad wedge and like kind of hit it into the wrong compartment, you'll have a huge, a huge breaking putt. Okay, so now we've got long par five. I think we just gotta hit a driver up the left here. That wasn't very good. Yeah, so this hole seems a little a little ho hum of a par five, especially one that's you know five seventy where a decent number of folks might not be making it in two. And that caught some kind of slope. Okay, so we got like a, a plateau on the left here. All right, we'll take our two putt and move on. All right, we got some more flower beds. So this is a long par three. Pretty well protected green. It looks like that, that backdrop there is actually you manipulating the land. Um, that's not the that's not the backdrop. The backdrop is way in the back there. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I think, you know, a long par 3 like this having those retaining walls just off the edge of the green is I don't really care for that um, I feel like there should be a bit more sense of spaciousness around here honestly I think if you just lose those and just have to have the rocks kind of where they are that'd be I, I would prefer that
Okay. Plenty of width again. Looks like we need to hedge to the right, although I think we'll given that we'll have a wedge in, I think we can we can give that bunker a pretty wide berth. So we kind of got a green that falls off on the right, surrounded by fairway. Okay, blind tee shot here. Um, sharp dog leg right. I'd say the way the fairway narrows in here needlessly punishes a short drive that's into the wind. I guess this is our aiming post here. got we're kind of like playing over a, a ravine here green's got a backdrop of some bunkers I think maybe a bunker another bunker at the front left there would 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 have been good make that give that pin a bit more of a tucked feel So I gave that pin plenty of respect, so now i got to put it over this mound. I think the f I probably would have flattened out that front portion a little bit. I feel like you could get an extra pin up there. As it is, this green is pretty small. in this back nine to death. Okay. Short bunkerless par three, par four. I wonder, I'm not sure what's going on here. Looks like there's kind of a, I kind of caught a slope that kicked me to the left, left to right. Oh, I got on the green. That's a pretty fun feature. Yeah, it's a unique, it's a unique green seat, so you can't really see anything. Um, also, I don't know about this, like, weird... 
like you got this hill to the left and it would seem that that's just kind of feeding into the green but then you got that weird gul gulch there I guess it's just to punish people who overcook it but it looks extremely unnatural otherwise this feels like a night this kind of little hollow here feels like a nice natural green site I understand what you're trying to do from a, like a risk reward standpoint but it does look it looks pretty contrived It's not getting there. Oh, maybe it is. Okay, so now we got a long par five. Probably just hit a driver and then lay up. I might have taken out some of those trees on the right. It looks like the, this hole kind of plays along a really nice natural valley. And it'd be a really, that'd be a nice view out to the right there. But you blocked it off with trees. Again, this this par five, you know, this second shot doesn't have a whole lot going for it. It looks like I'm just kind of playing up a bowling alley here. Okay, so the green's got like a few humps around the edges. That's got to sit. Okay, so the green's kind of tucked up behind some rocks there. It is actually downhill, <laughs> believe it or not. It looks like you're playing up into like this kind of craggy outcropping, but it's actually downhill, which feels a little weird. So we just sleepwalk our way into a bogey here. So we got a, another par five.
clubhouse is kind of up on the on the hill there. Again, you know, there's another part five where I feel like there's not a whole lot going on. They're just they just feel like they play like really, really long par fours. Yeah, again, the green green contours look a little unnatural here. You got like that big red slope, then a little shelf, and then another red slope. In other words, lots of lots of red and green, but not very much yellow. Okay. So this course, in a way, this course was kind of the opposite of uh, Tumble Down Keep, which we just played. Uh, in that, th I felt like this one had a re this course had a real identity, um, sense of place. The lighting worked well, well with uh, the setting. Um, plenty of width, which I liked. Um, a few too many holes that were just really straightforward. I think. Um, Especially the par fives. The par fives were a bit of a letdown. But um, visually, I think I would just say you didn't need the fences and you didn't need the flower beds. Um, otherwise, I thought I thought things looked pretty good. Um, so, so yeah. And it certainly, you know, I shot a pretty stress-free 64 there, and that was after I think I shot like 76 or something in the previous round. So, you know, the course is definitely not too taxing. The green greens feel like they're about the appropriate difficulty level for CC. Um, so, so yeah, I think, you know, in terms of creating a sense of place and all that, I think he did a great job. Just um, focus more on trying to get the player to think a bit um, without overcrowding everything. Like, I loved I loved how, how much space you gave. There weren't any overly contrived holes. Well, maybe the the one with the rock cut going across was a little. Maybe it was a little. I didn't really care for, but um, otherwise, you know, I thought it was an enjoyable round of golf. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll talk to you later.